Hello YouTube, just a quick little video today, nothing special, just want to update some content just to say I'm still here, still alive and I'm still training. So today's plan, I got, I'm got. i not at work today so I've got the whole day off, I could do it anytime I like. So do I do a run in the morning, midday or do I do a dark run at night? So I could say do it now, get out of the way, feel fresh. And then it's daylight and then it's done. Once it's done, it's done. You could say, relax a little bit. Watch some TV, have some food, let the food settle down. Let the air temperature warm up a little bit. And then go in the afternoon. Or have some breakfast. Do your daily jobs, whatever task you need to do in the daylight. Because that's more important. And then go for the run in the evening. Only thing is then the evening is going to be dark from 4pm onwards. So you have to wear a head torch. You could say as well, it's not raining at the moment. It's not windy. So go out now while it's sunny because it might rain later on. That's the risk you take. But it's December, so it's going to be cold. It's going to be muddy, windy. You're going to have to wear winter clothes anyway. So it doesn't really matter. I'm thinking I've got some DIY jobs to do uh they need done before christmas but they're dragging on it's a bit noisy using this multi-tool i've got electric machine so it makes quite a lot of noise makes a lot of dust so really that needs doing during the day i can't do that at midnight to wake the neighbors up so really need to crack on with that first um so the run could sort of wait as the run's not important i'm not i'm not a professional athlete so the run could be done anytime I don't mind doing that late at night. But what I might do is just sit down for an hour, have some breakfast, have a drink, not a special hydration drink, just a hot coffee or a lemon sip or something, just to relax, watch a bit of TV. The last three nights in a row, I've been trying to watch a series on Netflix, but I fell asleep. So I might just catch up on, on that. And then... Maybe this afternoon I'll do my, my DIY job and then the run in the evening. I don't mind doing night runs. It's cold and wet, whatever. Just need a head torch. Make sure that's charged up. Headphones are charged up. And I'll go and do that. The only thing is, though, for the last two weeks I've had a bad shin. It's only my right leg, not my right and left. Now, everybody says to me, oh, it's shin splints. But... If you Google the difference between shin splints and stress fractures, shin splints are more to do with the muscle and where it connects to the bone. So maybe when you start exercising, the muscle contracts and expands and it moves around a bit and it sort of pulls at the bone. Um, but the pain only hurts when you're running with shin, um, with shin splints. And it's, I think it's like all over the leg. But with stress fractures, the pain hurts all the time. Um, definitely more pain when I do run as well. So every footstep, there is a, a shock up the leg. Um, and the pain's in a more focused area. So I can actually pinpoint where the pain's coming from. It's not the ankle. It's about an inch higher than the ankle. Um, all the way around the leg. So if it was the bone, imagine like a crack going through the whole leg. Um, it would hurt both sides all around. So it does hurt when I put my feet up. So if anyone says rest your legs, um, elevate your legs, well, it actually hurts more doing that because if you've got your legs up on a pillow or elevated or you've got your legs crossed, it's like snapping the leg backwards because the ankle is on the pillow. And the knees rested, so it makes it bend in the middle. So it actually hurts more than that. Um, I have been on runs. So in November, I did 130 miles. December, um, I'm not sure what I'm on December yet. It's only the 14th, so not very far in December yet. But I have been on runs. Uh, if I take two cocodamol and two ibuprofen and rub my leg with ibuprofen gel or well not the same time as the tablets or tiger balm gel then it's manageable i can run and i can hardly feel it 
So in my mind, I'm thinking, it can't be that bad, the, the injury, because if it's really injured, I know the cocodamol will block the pain signals of the brain, but if it's that bad, my body would shut down and wouldn't work. So it is possible to blank the pain out and run. But then you are dosed up on these painkillers. I did a run the other day with no painkillers because I woke up in the morning and I ran out the door straight away to get the run in before work. So there's no point in taking painkillers because it would take, how long does it take for painkiller to digest and work? It would take 30 to, to 60 minutes for it to work anyway. By that time, my leg was already hurting. So I went for a run the other day, early doors, and it hurt all the way around. Every footstep you could feel. But I just went four miles. I still managed it. I could still do four miles without stopping. But it was a, a slower pace than normal. I can jog at a pace where my heart rate feels like it's easy. But my leg pain feels like it's hard. Any any faster. Um, now and again you get like a sharp pain in the leg. And it makes you fall over. Like your leg gives way. That's how it can just dis- that's how I can describe it. But I'm very careful. I know on the route I run on where there's dips and bumps and there's a few uh not potholes because it's not on the road, but there's a canal path, it's got I know where the there's a tree root, there's a little water hydration um cap thing. So I sort of know where I'm going. I'm very careful. I don't run heavy on my feet. But there's definitely pain. This morning I've woken up. I didn't run yesterday. I had a day off yesterday. Uh, I woke up this morning and actually hurts a bit more than what it did yesterday. Even though I didn't do anything. So I want to get out. My brain's telling me to get out. My body telling me, yeah, get out. 10% of my brain saying no. Listen to your pain and listen to all the experts and things. But I just know other people do harder things with more pain so is it really that bad i know there's a difference between injured pain and just pain pain um there is a difference and this is an injury pain not just a a leg hurting pain if you're on a run and you're getting hot and tired and your legs start hurting because of lactic acid that's just normal pain this is injury pain because it is hurting all the time. So um, I'm not really sure what I can do really because most muscle rubs like your deep heat, ibuprofen gel or your, um, you know, they're muscle gels. They're not really bone gels. So the other day I bought some cheap ibuprofen gel. So that goes straight to the area instead of taking a tablet. Um, so it hasn't got to go through the kidneys or anything but it goes straight to where the area is I'm not really sure if that works or not there was some declofenic gel cream stuff but that was four times more expensive so I don't really want to get that because I'm using loads of it on the area so um, Tiger Balm might not work Um, on that note Don't get the red Tiger Balm. Aim for the white Tiger Balm. The white Tiger Balm feels minty and smells minty and fresh. And, um, yeah, really, yeah, really minty. And it doesn't make a mark on your hands or your leg or your clothes. Once it's rubbed in, it disappears, it's clear, and it's gone. The red Tiger Balm, it goes on your skin, it looks orange. It goes on your hands, it looks orange. Um, if it goes on a white t-shirt or white socks it'll stain them orange and it stinks instead of being minty it smells more like a Christmas cinnamon type um, gingerbread um, Christmassy uh, what's that I'm not sure what that um, spice is but like cinnamony um, Christmas the red one does feel hot and warmer and the white one does feel, I think, cooler. I think that's probably how it should be. Um, obviously, you've got your hot and cold treatments. So your cold, your white one is going to be more of a cold treatment. And the red one more of a warm treatment. 
so they might do different things but I'd probably avoid the red anyway just because of the negatives it stinks and it's messy the white is better but I don't even know if that'll work anyway because it's a muscle rub um, and not a bone pain relief killer but anyway if you are injured you should really be resting anyway um, you can fix uh, pain on your muscle with gels and things but if it's torn then you're not going to be able to run I can't <coughs> sorry obviously if you if you ripped a muscle you would not be able to move it at all it'd be bruised it'd be swollen um, you'd see say if you tore your bicep it would go short and you'd see the your arm would spring and look weird and your pack would be short your hamstring would be short and it but with the bone I can't see it it's internal there's no bruising there's no swelling there's no bleeding there's no lumps or bumps or disfigurations so even if I went to the doctor he's looking at it once and say take 14 days rest take his ride program don't go running and he just tell me things I don't want to hear but he wouldn't really tell me things I do want to hear I don't want him to tell me yes it's okay to run I don't want him to tell me no rest I want him to tell me what's wrong with it if it if he's if it's honest if he says it's fine keep running I want to hear the, the honest if he says no it's not fine you need to rest I'd like to hear that but I would like to know an official reason so really an x-ray is what you need or uh, a DEXA scan or they're not going to book you in for MRI scan or anything like that they probably won't they'll just say rest it's NHS I'm not a, a sports personality so there's no need for me to train really and there's no need for me to do an x-ray if you can walk and do your normal daily job um, so that's my day so far I'm just relaxing in the chair it might look like I am holding a selfie stick so I'm sort of I'm not on a tripod I'm leaning back a bit but I'm also inclined on the chair as well you can see uh, I can go back a bit and then go up um, so there's my plan I'm going to relax for a little bit while I think about what I'm going to do uh, because like I said with the run even if I do go on one I want to beat my last week's running goal and I want to beat November's running target um, but do I want to have pain if I feel pain today or should I have an easier day today and go again tomorrow um, so all food for thought um, yeah I'll keep you updated I'm still training I'm still here I just haven't posted very regularly but um, stay tuned I'll get this updated today today is the 14th of December Thursday um, I will post it today without fail I won't edit it it's just raw as it is Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. See you soon.